Hi, and welcome to this video on the MSA Lunar Connected Device. This video is a supplement to, not a substitute for, the documentation that came with your product and is available on the help portal. Make sure you read all the documentation before you use the MSA Lunar Connected Device. Today, we're discussing the device's battery, charging, installing and removing, checking the battery level, powering on and off, and navigating through the maintenance menu. The battery provides a runtime of eight hours under normal use. It charges in three hours, with approximately 1,000 charge cycles when the battery is fully discharged to when it's fully charged. Let's go over a few battery safety tips. When removing or installing a battery, make sure you're not in an explosive atmosphere. When the battery has been removed, inspect the battery, the lunar device, and the battery connecting port to make sure they're clean and dry to prevent corrosion or damage. If they aren't, Corrosion or connector damage can occur, which can cause intermittent or unexpected loss of power. Also make sure that the O-ring and seal surface aren't damaged or degrading. It's important to remember that failure to follow any of these safety procedures could cause serious injury or even be fatal. Now we're ready to charge the battery. There are two ways to charge the lunar battery. One, you can use the single point charger. The single point charger can be attached to the battery while it's installed in the lunar device, or the battery can be charged by itself with the charger attached. Note that if the lunar device is powered on and the single point charger is plugged into an outlet, it will automatically power off after a while as a safety precaution. The other way to charge the battery is by using the multi-bay charger. Remove the battery from the device and place it in one of the six charging bays. Now let's see how to quickly check the battery status. When the lunar device is powered off, you can activate a quick check to see the battery level and the device assignment. Just short press or quickly press either the down or enter button. Now let's turn on the lunar device. To power on, long press the down or enter button. Note that simply installing a charged battery won't power on the device. If you try to power on a lunar device with a low battery level, you'll see a flashing low battery icon and the device will then shut down. Keep in mind that you can't power off the lunar device or enter search mode during a manual, motion, or hardware alarm. Let's take a look at the user interface and navigate through the screens. This icon indicates the status of the device. Here we see a green check mark, which means the device is working and the lunar to lunar network is enabled. This is the operator ID, or the personalization assigned, the LTE connection status, and Bluetooth connection status if paired with a G1 SCBA. The lunar battery level is indicated here. This is the device's display where we can see the temperature reading. This is the LED indicator. This is the down button. Press to scroll. The enter button is here. Press to select. On the back is the tick lens. Here's the RFID tag. And this is the quick disconnect swivel. Note that the Lunar Connected device has a maximum of three screens to toggle through. It's designed that way for ease of use and to keep the operation simple since there's a lot happening on scene. It allows for quick navigation to the screen that's needed in the moment. To power off the device, open the main menu. Select Shutdown. And then select Yes to confirm shutdown. Now let's open the maintenance menu. With the power off, long press both buttons together. From the maintenance menu, you can connect the lunar device to fire grid configure. Select data link to make the device available for communication. Then select done. You can also update the device's firmware, as long as the battery level is at least 50% and an update is available. Select update firmware. 
Then click Yes to confirm the update. Also, you can view device information. Select About, then scroll the information. Select Done to go back to the maintenance menu. The Lunar Unit is part of MSA's Connected Firefighter Platform, designed for today's uncertain and unpredictable environment. You can stay connected in several ways. You can learn more about the MSA Connected Firefighter Platform, powered by the Lunar Connected device, by watching the videos at msafire.com slash connected firefighter or by accessing MSA's help portal. MSA's Lunar Connected device is available through MSA's network of authorized channel partners. Or you can find out more about MSA's Lunar Connected device by contacting your local first responder sales manager.